This video is sponsored by Blue Apron, which is a service I personally loved and used for months. Sign up with the link in the description below and I'll tell you more about it after the video. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Sonic. Hello everybody, how is it going? I've done a lot of hacking videos on this channel, but this is one I've wanted to do for quite some time, so I'm very excited about it. This time, instead of talking about one specific game, we're gonna talk about a few different games all in one video. So without further ado, let's get right into this Sonic the Hedgehog hacking. Up first, we have Sonic Adventure DX, and why don't we try out a little corruption code? There's the character selection screen, and that's pretty great in and of itself, but the people walking around in the cutscene are infinitely better. And by better, I mean kind of eerie and depressing looking. Bright and early for the daily races, going nowhere, going nowhere. Here's a code that allows you to modify the size and shape of Sonic. You can make him small, huge, run backwards, or my personal favorite, a bouncing ball with ears. Uh, tails? Do you not see anything different about me? I got a new haircut, okay? I got a new haircut. I, I would appreciate it if you would notice next time. Sonic and Giant Tails are taking a stroll together. A giant tail turns to baby Sonic and says, Would you stay with me forever? It's not like you to crash like that. Yeah, it's just that I'm testing a new. Uh, I guess that cutscene's over? Now let's jump over to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Um, again, I don't really know what's going on. All right, let's start the game. Attention all units. Suspect seen heading south. On all major roads. Okay, I'm instantly regretting this. I can barely even tell what's going on. Let's just head on over to the Chow Garden. That's always nice. You know, I take it back. It's not nice. Look at this. Look at this. Sonic! That's not right! That is a messed up! Don't worry, buddy. No, Sonic, I am worried. You stay away from them! You stay away! Here. Here. This is terrible! Tails, you're one to talk. You don't even have a freaking head! Also, I'm really confused about the design of this robot here. I mean, I guess it's working just fine. So, you can just go ahead and keep it. I give you permission. You know what, Tails? Just go ahead and just just go take a nap. Just go to bed. You, you really need you just need to get your head on straight. You you need to get your you need to get your head right. There's a there's a joke there somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yep. Okay, just keep just keep it right there. Just keep your head right there. And then Tails' head ascended into the heavens, and all who witnessed it were blessed. Now let's move on to something a little bit different to spin off Sonic games. Mario and Sonic at the London Olympics 2012 or something. And Mario and Sonic at one of the Winter Olympic ones. I'm pretty sure it's the Wii one. It is the Wii one because you use the Wii mode, so it has to be the Wii one. The Wii one. Go! We'll start with the London Olympic Games because as funny as it is, I really only found one code that was worth showing off. A seizure code. Up first is seizure fencing. Ah, ouch! As you can tell, it's pretty much just a bunch of chaotic, practically unplayable nonsense for two straight minutes. Now we've got Seizure Biking! Ready, set, go! <laughs> Oddly enough, the goofy erratic movements actually do make it seem like they're going faster or whatever that's worth. I feel like this is also a good time to point out that even the control demonstration Wiimote and Nunchuck are having a hard time keeping themselves together. Ready, go! <laughs> Oh man! With this happy, inspiring music playing, this is pretty funny, but I have a sneaking suspicion that if you slowed down this footage, it would be terrifying. Eggman's 
dribbling the ball. He passes it to Tails and... Yeah. Freaking Tails. And of course, Tails misses the shot. Oh, and Shadow has a breakaway! And so, wow, that was quite an offensive play there by Eggman. Literally just teleported the ball to his legs. He was feet away. He was feet away from the really far. I don't know what happened. Oh, and Tails! Tails! Come on! Oh, and Mario has the ball! He dribbles it down the field! Goal! He absolutely destroys the net! And I absolutely mean that literally. The net is broken. We need a new one. Up next is seizure synchronized swimming, which is something that's very hard to say. Is that the line? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have to eat my words. Not only is this frankly amazing, I think this is the new high for the sport. The synchronized swimmers in the next Olympics are really gonna have to step up their game to compete with this. Now we're on to the Winter Olympics and giant hockey. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Okay, looks like we have our answer. It's not going to work. Unfortunately, it's the same thing with giant skiing. The character introductions work, but once the game starts, it seems to crash. But what does seem to work is giant curling and giant snowboarding. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on with curling, but on the positive side, it is really easy to make it onto the target when the stones are so big. So that's nice. Yes, I did it. Eat that, mom. I'm sorry, mom if you're watching this. Giant snowboarding, on the other hand, is not just confusing, it's all over the place. And I do mean that literally. Just look at the mini-map, I'm spazzing all over the place. And I finished? Somehow? 20 seconds is incredibly fast for that course. It's just too bad that everyone else finished in about half the time. Yoshi in particular overachieving with an astounding 2.9 seconds. And then, of course, there's a seizure code for the game as well. The bobsleigh one is pretty good, both the build-up run as the race starts as well as during the actual race itself. I like how Vector is just jamming to the beat. Uh, 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 uh. And then there's downhill skiing. Keep it up there, Sonic. Just keep it up. Just keep it up. Just just keep it up. And lastly, we have Sonic and the Secret Rings. Tilting the Wii Remote to the left and right will move you in that direction. Huh. Well, this seems pretty normal. Just kind of running around, getting some rings. Three, two, one, go! The tears are filling up their glasses. No expression. No expression Hide my head, I wanna drown my sorrow Hey guys, I'm happy to say again that this video is sponsored by Blue Apron. As I said before, Blue Apron is a service that I've actually used for quite some time now and I'm a big fan of it. In fact, I've genuinely told multiple friends about Blue Apron way before they ever approached me with a sponsorship. Blue Apron is a service that ships delicious chef-designed recipes to your house weekly. They ship you all the ingredients you need, they're all fresh, and you follow the simple instructions and boom, tasty meal. If you happen to watch any of my gameplay channel, you know that I am very bad at following instructions and even I can do it. It's easy! If the recipe requires two tablespoons of vinegar, you pour it in there. If it requires a cup of flour, you pour that in there. It's that simple. Except don't put vinegar and flour into a pan. It doesn't make anything. Another thing I really do love about Blue Apron is it gives me a lot of vegetables and, and healthy nutrients, nutritionist things that I would never eat otherwise. And I don't end up going to freaking fast food places all the time, eating like garbage. I actually get some healthy meals and to boot, they're really delicious. I'm honestly a pretty picky person and out of the 30 to 40 meals I've had so far with Blue Apron, there's only been one that I wasn't too into. But that is another cool thing Thing about Blue Apron because if you're not interested in that week's meals or you just happen to be out of town or anything like that, you can actually just skip an entire week and not have to pay for it. And of course, you can also just flat out cancel at any time if you're not happy.
happy. If this is something you're interested in, then make sure, again, you sign up in the link in the description below. It helps this channel out, it helps me out. And the first 300 people that sign up get a, what is it, $35 off of your first week of meals. So yeah, use the link in the description, sign up, Blue Apron. It's good, it's delicious, it's healthy, it's cost effective, and it's easy. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Bye. If you want to see some more crazy hacking stuff, make sure to check out Wind Waker Chaos Edition on my gameplay channel, PVG Gameplay. You can click right here. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to try to keep this short. If you haven't already, then you should subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video and you want to help me out, you can like it and share it around. It's much appreciated. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and all that stuff. You can check out another hacking video here. And I guess I'll just go ahead and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.